Hey everybody, J Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all back to my channel. In this video, I will be giving my review for King Kong vs. Godzilla. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. The two mightiest monsters of all time battle in the thrilling adventure classic King Kong vs. Godzilla. When an underhanded pharmaceutical company goes to a remote tropical island to steal King Kong for advertising purposes, they get more than they bargain for when the gigantic ape attacks an unsuspecting village and an enormous octopus. Meanwhile, far below the sea, a submarine crew unleashes reptilian terror when they melt a block of ice and release the ferocious Godzilla from his icy lair. When both destructive monsters descend on Tokyo, it's a fight that holds the future of mankind in the balance in this knockout film, which was the first theatrical release to bring its larger-than-life contenders to the big screen in glorious color. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. The first thing that I wanted to mention is the 1960s era of Godzilla movies are probably some of my least favorite Godzilla movies. But with that being said, I still have a ton of fun watching them. They seem to be a little bit more on the cheesy side, and in my opinion, a little bit more directed towards a younger audience, especially this one. With this movie, I could almost break it down into two different halves. Pretty much the ultimate goal is to get King Kong and Godzilla together so they can fight. But in order to do that, they have to be discovered and then have a way for them to meet face to face. So that's pretty much the ultimate goal with this one. With King Kong's side of the story, we have a struggling pharmaceutical company. They are struggling with their TV ratings. They hear a rumor about a mysterious island that is home to a giant creature. They send some of their men out to the island to discover the creature and to trap him and to bring him back to basically society so they can exploit him and make money from him. This section of the movie is pretty interesting to me. So they basically go to the island where Kong lives and I do not recall them calling that Skull Island. But anyway, that's basically what it's supposed to be. So they get to this island and they are dropped off and they meet the local natives. There is some very goofy dialogue between the interpreter and the native tribe, and there is some very goofy dialogue throughout this movie. But this conversation more or less leads to the pharmaceutical team. They eventually get welcomed to the island, and as they are being welcomed, one of the guys starts to hand out packs of cigarettes and cigarettes to random tribe members. And he hands out cigarettes to a very small child. Now, I can only imagine what would come out about this if this was to happen in a movie today. Now, this native tribe, they have this special berry juice that supposedly is only produced on this island. They end up being attacked by a giant octopus, which stirs up Kong, and a fight ensues between the two. Then Kong begins to drink some of the berry juice that they have drugged, and it knocks him out. And that is how they capture Kong and begin to attempt to take him from the island. The Godzilla side of the story is a little bit more simplistic and less complicated. He is basically discovered by a submarine crew that is investigating some activity going on with some icebergs. They are picking up a signal from Godzilla or, or something along those lines. They disturb the glacier that houses Godzilla, and they wake Godzilla up, and then Godzilla begins to cause all kinds of destruction. Eventually, this story progresses to where they feel like the only hope that they have is to put... Godzilla and Kong face to face and have them basically destroy each other and that is the only hope they have for survival. They have reached this point with this decision after multiple attempts by the military which basically can be summed up by little plastic toys 
and tanks and models. After Godzilla is causing all this mass destruction, they have no other choice than to pit Kong and Godzilla against each other. There is an early confrontation between Kong and Godzilla, and this fight breaks down as Kong is throwing rocks and boulders at Godzilla, and Godzilla is batting some of them back at Kong. Godzilla has the atomic breath and blasts King Kong, and that leads him to scratching his head, and he just walks off. So then the two is separated. This ultimately leads to them having to drug Kong once again and transport him with these balloons back to Godzilla's location so they can have their final confrontation. One thing that I should mention about Kong that is pretty interesting is electricity and thunder and lightning seem to give him strength. So there's some segments within the fight scene where you can see Kong's hands have some electricity coming out of them. It's just something to kind of build up Kong a little bit more, seeing how Godzilla has the atomic breath and seems kind of like the fight is a little unbalanced. Other than that, all Kong is doing is throwing some rocks and they're batting rocks back and forth between each other. The second fight scene is quite a bit better than the first fight scene. Even though it's not really anything memorable, it ultimately leads them to falling off a bluff and into the ocean. With the ending scene, we have one of the monsters walking away and we don't see the other one. So that is pretty much how they wrap it up. With this one, there's pretty much is a clear cut winner and I'm not going to say which one. That's going to be my review for this one. I thought this was pretty decent. It's pretty fun. It's extremely cheesy and goofy in my opinion, but I still enjoy it. I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Please comment below and let me know if you have seen this one. Let me know what you think about my review, and I would like to thank you all for watching.